Buddy, first you gotta take a test. Read that chart. I can't see a thing. Now, can you read it? I can't see a thing. Oh, you can't, eh? Huh? Can you read this? I can't see a thing. Can you read it now? I can't see a thing. I'll bet you can read it now. <laughs> now, I'm gonna test your reflexes. Now we'll see what you know about driving. Give the arm signal for a right turn. Now a left turn. Now back up.
take a look. <laughs>
Napoleon. Cool, I'm rich. Bullion soup. Soup, soup, bullion soup. <laughs> I can read. Take long.
Oh, yeah, I see it now. This is convulsive evidence. Uh, this may take a little longer. Did you get him? Uh, I had him whipped, but they pulled a pair of horns on me. Crows, Milo! Go get him! Just as I thought, you're a crow. Correct. That's absolutely correct. It pays to be ignorant. Have a cigar. and crows is giving me a headache.
This monarch came to be. So hush, and I'll tell you the tale the way it was told to me. Once upon a time, there was a tiny little boat. And this tiny little boat was cruising slowly through the waters of the far north. When suddenly, and without warning, came a rain. Raging Arctic gale, the angry waves battered this helpless little boat from stem to stern, then stern to stem, then stem to stern, stern to stem, stem to stem. <laughs> Boy, what a beating it was taking. And then a voice cries out. Aah! But there is no help for this ill-fated craft. Only one man remains aboard, a trombone player by the name of Jackson. Clasping his beloved trombone to his side, he springs with a mighty leap from the port side of the boat. Upon striking the icy water, he becomes stiff. But this is no new experience for Jackson. And now this poor trombone player struggles for his life against the elements. But the elements win because an element never forgets. Then came the dawn. The inhabitants of the island bring Jackson too. Then they bring him two more. Then they give him the bottle. Thinking him to be a god, they proclaim him king. And to this very day, you can hear them say, If you ever want to see a hip locality, it's the jumping as you ever knew. Ride and come along with me, it's the only place you'll see. Jackson, the slip horn, king of Polaru. Here nobody works a bit, they wouldn't think of it. Making music is all that they do. And the man who gives the beat is the gent you all should meet. Jackson, the slip horn, king of Polaru. And when he plays, those hot licks on his horn. I mean the island rocks and the natives all chant, honky, honky, and.
which means I'm deep to my sound. If you're really in the groove, then brother, here's your move. Grab a dog sled and march northward to Come where music is a thing, pay allegiance to the king. I mean Jackson, the slip horn, king of all a root. Which is the way to Florida? is Tennessee, folks, the greenest state in the Union, and the home of Davy Crewcut. That young'un was a born hunter. Yes, sir, he went after his first bar at the age of three. Three months, that is. <coughs> Why, that boy was completely bar, or bar happy. Well, he growed bigger and bigger, there was times he had trouble keeping his end up. But he never let that bar get the drop on him. The years went by, and Davy growed big as an ox, and almost as smart. Come on, Sarn, you Davy! I'm getting fed up with your shooting! Go shoot yourself a, a... A woodpecker! <laughs> yeah, sure enough. Betsy, we're gonna get ourselves a woodpecker. <laughs> to get a bar. I'm aiming to get me a woodpecker. A woodpecker? So, you're not hunting bears anymore. 
Nope. Just a cotton picking woodpecker. And he's hiding in this here tree. Uh oh. Here, baby. Try smoking him out. <laughs> yeah. I'll blow smoke and, uh. Have a light? Thanks. Never touch me. up a cotton picking bar. And here, punting down the Thames, is that very famous criminologist, Inspector Willoughby. That's me, folks. This time, I am on the trail of the international jewel thief, Vampira Hyde. Miss Hyde has been traced here to the mysterious Limehouse District. Four o'clock. Time for tea. This looks like a nice place. Here's your tea, darling. I must drink it quickly, as I have to capture Vampire Hyde. <laughs> it can't 
me. It's a blooming Barbie. There's only one thing to do. Oh. <laughs> Would you like some more tea, Lovey? I must be working too hard. Well, I must be on my way. Goodbye. Goodbye. He's gone. I must work swiftly. <laughs> now to get the diamonds. I must have them. Stop! Hold on there! I have you now, Vampira. You may come out. Good evening, sir. My goodness, it's the sweet little old lady from the tea shop. Come, let me escort you home. Good night, gallant young man. Good night. Now to set the trap for Vampira Hyde. <laughs> This should lure that chick. Here, tick, 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 tick. It won't be long now. <laughs> Another case in the bag. I better look inside. Oh, it's that nice young man. You shouldn't be out in this night air. Good night, sweet little old lady. Good night, sweet little man. Now I shall apprehend that elusive jewel thief, Miss Vampire Hyde. It's gorgeous. A matching pair. Come along. That's a cute step. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. You do get about. You are the kindest gentleman in the whole world. Good night. Good night, lovey. I still think that's a cute step. And I like you. Thank you, and I like you. Marshall Sykes. Oh, my goodness. Forgive me, madam. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I made a terrible mistake. Oh, you're so kind. Shall we go? To the tea shop, madam. I just love that step. Thank you for all your kindness. You're just a dreamboat. <laughs> hmm. I have a scheme that will intrigue Miss Hyde. <laughs> now to set the trap. One hundred and forty thousand carats. I've got to have it. It's mine. It's beautiful and it's mine. Now, a few alterations. Surprise! You may consider yourself under arrest, Miss Vampira Hyde. But first, I will confiscate those pills. I have been wise to you all the time. I'll just test one of these to see if they work. Nothing. I'll try them all. Mm -hmm. 